Hi there, I'm Claire with the Saskatoon Public Library here on the beautiful Treaty 6 territory and traditional homeland of the Métis. And I'm here to do a draw and tell with you today. Now, when I was a kid, there was someone on TV called Mr. Dress Up. And Mr. Dress Up was the coolest guy. He could do puppet shows, he could sing songs, and he did sometimes to tell a story. He did draw and tells. So, I think it's a little bit fun to do one with you today. And I think there's one coming out every week so you can learn how to do a draw and tell too. So this draw and tell that I have for you today is called Night Walk, which I thought would be a good sort of story to tell since we're getting close to Halloween and then you get to think of spooky things sometimes and that can be really fun. So here is a story called Night Walk. So one time, when I was a kid, my sister and I were bored. And we said to our, my dad, Dad, what should we do? We're bored. And he said, go for a walk. Go for a walk? That didn't sound like adventure to us. He said, no, not just any walk. A night walk. Oh, a night walk? Well. Everybody knows more exciting things happen at night. Maybe, probably not really, but it's fun to think like that. So we waited until it got dark. And then we headed out of the house. We opened the door and left the house. There we go. And so then we started walking down the street. Now, we walked and we walked and we walked and we walked. We walked, you know, quite a ways. And at this point, it didn't seem very full of adventure. It just seemed like a regular walk because the moon was out and it was casting so much light that we didn't even need the flashlights that we had brought. So we kept walking down the street until all of a sudden, my dad stopped and he said, it's time to take a turn, a turn to the deep, dark woods. The deep, dark woods. We didn't usually even walk there most of the time, even during the day. They were very dark and very deep and a bit scary. So my sister and I looked at each other and we wanted to be brave. We wanted adventure, right? So we turned with my dad onto the deep, dark path, into the deep, dark woods. And, you know, we started walking and we walked 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 and we had to turn on our flashlights at this point because it was so dark, we couldn't see anything. Oh. And first of all, my dad, he turned on his and he shone it around, but the trees blocked out all of the moonlight. So his flashlight didn't even cast a circle. It cast just sort of little bits of circles. Oh, we were scared. So we got out our smaller flashlights and turned on those. Whoop, whoop, oh, we turned on those and we looked around and then suddenly I tripped. And my dad said, be careful there. There's roots all over the path. So oh, we kept walking very carefully then, shining our flashlights around. And we could see there were little creepy crawlies, spiders and different things hanging down from the trees. That was very, very frightening. And we started to get even more nervous when all of a sudden we heard crack. <gasps> what could it be? Dad shone his flashlight around and there we saw a big branch. A big branch right on the pathway. Oh, I started to get nervous. My flashlight started to flicker and dad said, I don't know, should we keep going? And we said, no, no, it's 
time to turn around. So we turned around and we said, oh, let's get home. And my sister said, oh, let's get home. And my dad said, oh, you've been so brave. And the owl said, Ooh, who's in my forest? But nobody was there to hear it because we ran all the way home. <gasps> and there's my owl. Now I'm not necessarily the best drawer. You could probably practice a better owl, but it's kind of fun. So thank you for joining me for Draw and Tell today. <laughs> Maybe you can come up with your own story. That would be super fun. Maybe a story of a time you did something very brave. Thanks. Have a great day.